Greetings and welcome to Let's School. I'm Catherine of Sky, and appropriately, this episode and series is sponsored by Babbel. Uh, more on them later. So this is a new game from Pathia Games, uh, who brought us uh, titles like uh, My Time at Portia, My Time at Sandrock, but this is a completely different kind of game. This is where you build a school and deal with your students and stuff like that, and I, find, I found it quite fun to play. So I'd like to just kind of show it off to you, and uh, hopefully you'll be interested in, in checking it out here. So let's go ahead and start a brand new game. There's quite a lot of like, um, let's see, actually, can we choose a, oh. Oh, we can. So I, my test map was on Sakura Valley. I'm going to go to Peony Springs. Do note the climate. Uh, it does get cold and hot. Um, and we're going to have just normal game difficulty. I guess we could... We, we do see there are different ones. But I played on normal. That seems to be okay. I don't think it's terribly hard um, or terribly easy. It does have some challenge in it. Um, especially later on when you really have to balance the budget. But let's go ahead and confirm this. When I first saw this, I was like, oh, oh my god, it's so cute! Uh, it is. It's so cute. Um, so this is a letter from the old headmaster. Hey, long time no see. I'm the headmaster of your old school. By the time you read this, I will be retired and traveling the world. The school you loved is in a bad state. I tried my best, but my best wasn't good enough. Now it's up to you. I'm asking you to take over the headmaster position. Please do what I only dreamt of doing. I've hidden a treasure somewhere on the school grounds. If you revive our school, that treasure is yours. Okay. All right, so now we're going to choose our character. Um, we're going to put in our name. Catherine of Sky. Um, this is... <sighs> Like most uh, games that come from Japanese developers, it, can, it suffers from a severe lack of characters. This is it. This is a number of characters you can have. Uh, because, you know, obviously, uh, Japanese writing is quite different from um, Western languages, so they don't need as many characters. But it's like, come on, folks, you know we're on a world stage here. Um, anyway, let's go ahead and... and um, wow, you can be very tall, very short... Um, you can have any kind of look you want to. Some of them look very odd. I mean, odd is not bad. It's just sometimes the um, blowing up of the pixel outfits does not look very attractive. I'm trying to find one that I like. Uh... Eh, eh, eh. Okay. I am not finding a single one that I like at all. We might just have to just customize it ourselves. But you guys see there is quite a variety of looks here. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and go with um, this. But we're going to do different hair. Um, that's interesting. It looks like it's about to kill somebody. It looks very spiky. <laughs> Why do these look like pom-pom puffs? Oh, it's like a back ponytail, I see. I don't know, that's kind of cute. Hair color, not that, please. Let's let's do dark. Um, and then clothing. Let's wear clothing that is not looking like this. Oh, see, this is this pixel blowing up is not great. This looks like a baby jumper. God, that looks terrible. Uh, we could be kind of geeky. You know, let's be geeky and wear a suit. Shall we? All right, let's do that. Um, is she too tall? Oh, that's cute. I like the round. Okay. She might be too tall. I can make her very short. <laughs> tall seems to be kind of interesting. You know what? Let's make her tall. Let's make her very visible from the map view. All right, let's go. Okay, so here are the children going to our school. We're going to call this Sky Academy. Again, this one has a nice, you know, um, reroll button for names, which is kind of nice. Um, we can change our school emblem, and I love this. Ha, platypus! Ha, ha, ha! Really? <laughs> I find this hilarious. The platypus is the new capybara, I swear. Anyway, to celebrate the platypus, let us give him... This, like, beautiful treasure crowning achievement here. Can we choose a color that mm, is better? Green is festive. Okay. Color one, pink. 
Oh, that's so cute. All right, that's nice. I like this. Sky Academy. I think we're good and done. The emblem color. I think we're okay. Maybe we choose like yellow for the beak and the thingy. Or orange. Can we do orangey? We can. Don't know if that really makes a big difference. There we go. It's a little bit different from the yellow. I like that better so it doesn't blend in so much. Of course, the embroiderers are not going to be as happy. <laughs> More colors of thread to use. Damn it. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I forgot to choose the school kids' uniforms. No. Ah. Okay. Let's see if there's an easy way to do that. I know you can change it um, in, in other ways. Um, all right. We're here. We have arrived at a construction zone. It looks terrible. This person is like sweeping the grass, dude. Why is the dirt never going away? Because it extends down to the center of the earth and back out the other side. Yeah. Okay, this is Mrs. Lynn, our assistant. She looks like a child compared to my character. She is actually an adult. <laughs> but I do like the height thing because, like, different people are different in height, so that's great. Okay. Um, I'm going to say we don't need help because I, I don't need help. Um, all right, the school's education goals are to admit more students and help them achieve their aspirations. The higher the aspirants, star level, the greater the rewards. You look like you have a lot of experience. Let's get straight to it. So the tutorial is pretty good. Um, there is also... Oh, that's nice. A fire truck. Um, the tutorial is pretty good. There is also a help thing. There, like, um, a help thing. Um, and, oh, we have an upstairs in this school. We can go up this way. Oh, okay. There we go. Okay, so the offices look like they're up here. And this looks like terrible. Okay, so we're going to bulldoze the, the junk. Look at this. We can bulldoze a hole in the wall. I love this. We're unbulldozing the wall. <laughs> it's so bizarre. Um, and these are, those are not like furniture. These are just like junk. All right, let's go downstairs again. <clears throat> and let's just clear up the school. Oh, that's nice. Right, yeah. Let's just clear up all this stuff. All the ruined classrooms and such and things. Um, another hole to bull. <laughs> I can't get over the bulldozing of holes. <laughs> it's so weird. Uh, okay, there's one there. Yeah, we'll get rid of all these windows and columns and random stuff. We don't need any of it. Um, let's just inspect from every side. Uh, I'm going to get rid of these random uh, sh these uh, thingies as well. The, the benches are useful, but we can add more where we want them instead of where they're giving them to us. Okay, this is a like a lecture area for like the end of school speech. Okay, so we're here. We've done things and stuff. We have gotten stuff happening and we're Good. Okay, those, those are permanent. Oh, pardon me. I still have my cold. I really apologize for any sniffles that may be issued. Um, I still have this flu. It is just hell in a box, man. Um, all right. So let's start by um, deciding how we want to arrange our school. I think, let's see. If we want to keep it, I don't care about keeping it symmetrical necessarily. I just want it to work well. Let's work hard for the future. Oh, okay. So we need to choose what we are going to strive for. We can either have the most beautiful school. I want our students to be found everywhere, or I want to educate the best of the best. Well, that's typically me. So we're going to pick that. Okay. Now these correspond to the goals, which are here. So the victory goal is here. And what we need to do to get that. So this game has so many levels of currency. It's outrageous. Um, some of them I found do absolutely nothing. Um, so <laughs> anyway, but this is our aspirations. We need to get our teaching victory. We need to get um, 20 students with five star aspirations. Now our school level, uh, this improves and this gets us like on a sort of a leaderboard thing here. I don't think it actually does anything, but you get points for doing stuff here. Okay, now these points, aha, these are beautiful points, but I have no idea what they do. 
They're basically just, I think they're again a leaderboard. They might contribute to more students coming in, but it isn't really explicit on how that happens because when you're looking at the other, um, the places that uh, send students to your school, um, they have their own individual reputation bars. So it's kind of confusing. Like these currencies, they're like, oh my god, you get so many of these, and you're gonna hear many plings and blings and stuff. Um, and yeah, that's kind of gonna be like, okay, what's that for again? <laughs> I still haven't found any way to use it or like, uh, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Okay, so we have many menus here. This um, links to also the finances here. We have the satisfaction of our students. Uh, the building score, grades, finances, and our notebook. Um, there are many, many parts to this UI. I find some of them kind of confusing. Um, so I'll show you how I found the way to use it best. And we'll just kind of go from there, okay? That seems good. So what we're going to start off with is one classroom. You only need one classroom to start off with. That's it. So I have determined the best size of a classroom or the most efficient size is like five across. Where is our number? Uh, one, two, three, four, five and seven high. And there's a very specific reason for that number. And I'll show you why in a second. Um, I guess we could do this. Okay, this is going to be our first classroom. So associated items we need, we need a blackboard, that doesn't matter where it is. Now we need the podium. Now this is where the teachers teach. Now you might be saying, hey, KOS, you're missing out on a whole row there. Uh, yeah, you are, but it depends on how you want to organize your classroom. What I usually do is this kind of thing. I'll have the aisle right there, not in the center, so that I can have all these desks here and it's not going to look too weird, okay? If you use the extra row, then you just end up with an extra row between the podium and the desks. Now, you might be asking, um, do you need to have a space? I don't think so. I think you can literally fill the entire thing with desks and it's not going to care. Um, but we're going to just make it look a little bit realistic for now. Um, and then this, you know, students can enter from the side here. So I find that to be okay too. So this classroom... Um, does it say, oh, not yet. Okay. So we have 14 possible class members. So 14 students can be in this room. Uh, I think that's okay. That's not too bad. Um, so now we need to figure out how, where our students are coming from. So let's go ahead and see which students we have. Hello. New job applicants are here. Okay, no new applicants from the schools. Oh no. I think we need to go to the... Oh yeah, there we go. Here's our established admission office. Uh, this is in a different city. Oh god, I forgot about this part. Um, over time, you're going to discover different cities and stuff. And you need to establish an admission office. The first one is just establish it. The next ones require like a bike rack area where students can basically bike to school because they're very far away. Here they can walk. So we can get nine applicants per week. Sounds good. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, so that particular sound effect does not adhere to the global sound effects uh, volume level. Hooray! Okay, so we have exam completion reward per student. Um, we have 168 per person per day. Uh, and they're usually forgetful. Sad times. Now these people... They are aspiring to go to Marina Heaven College of Marketing. Um, now, this is what they need. They need knowledge points in humanities and science. Now, it doesn't say humanities and science, but trust me, I know what they are because I've done this before. Okay, so, so here we have our students. Let's pause again. So here, does it tell you? No, you just have to kind of look at the colors and the symbols. So here we go. Um, and they, they do show from here, uh, Verdant Valley. Okay. So admit all. So now we're going to go back to our, oh, it's right across the road. Oh, look at that. Okay. Nice. Um, so yeah, let's go into class one. 
Um, and then we're going to select all. Now, I, I try, I want to look at them first because uh, I haven't played this particular map and I didn't know if it would be different. But yeah, Marina Heaven is uh, Humanities and Science. So the current teachers we have are these. We have Mrs. Lynn or Ms. Lynn, a Humanities teacher, and I apparently am a Science teacher. So we can look at our skills. Now that top uh, symbol with the book is my teaching proficiency in my subject. The bottom one, the perception is <coughs> kind of, I understand it as kind of a measure of how good you can get at where you want to go. The upper right is research skill with the magnifying glass and the bottom right is management skill. Now I know management skill doesn't sound like very important for a teacher, but this game makes it important. Anyway, Ms. Lynn is a 13 proficiency in humanities. I am 13 proficiency. Let's see if there's any better applicants right now. No, we do not have any better applicants right now. So that's going to have to be it. So that's, uh, that's all the choices we have for now. So we're going to leave them. They're not too bad, but I'm not going to hire any right now. I got other things to do. So we're going to hire homeroom teacher is going to be Ms. Lynn. And now we need to make a schedule for our students. So the students we have first, um, we have our class meeting, which is like homeroom kind of thing. Later on, you can get classes here, purple classes that actually buff the rest of their periods for the rest of the day. So what we're going to do is we're going to do two humanities, two sciences. Now you can press control and drag, click drag to copy them to these other things. Now this one here, indicates that um, we need a higher level um, research for them to teach this subject. Hopefully we can get that. So we'll see um, and get that going. So anyway, um, what we're looking at over here though, is we have a total of four students estimated to pass our two estimated to fail our two. So maybe one of the persons, yeah, they're forgetful, uh, more, more, knowledge is required. So we're going to see how this goes. This doesn't look good for us right now, but maybe we can buff it a little bit with certain other things that we can do. All right. So, but that's okay for now. Um, let's look at the other things that we can build right now. So we can build a research room. We have a, you know, restrooms here. I wish that we could just have like, you know, a uh, single, uh, not single, but like, um, restrooms that are not um, uh, or yeah, you know, well, you know what I mean? All right. The other thing that we definitely need, and this is very Japanese, uh, we need a tea room. Yes, we need a tea room. Um, what I do want to do is make a bathroom here and the bathrooms are kind of good. I forget how long they need to be. Oh no. Let's make them seven by three. And these will last a very long time. I'm going to get a single pane door and I usually like to put it there. Okay. So associated, let's see how many we can fit here. One. I forgot how many you can fit. Two, three, four. That's it. Okay. So this is actually perfect. So this is how many? One, two, wait, one, two, three, four, five. So seven long. And then I like to put in a sink, two sinks here. And then we also need a cleaning thing. Actually, you should have a cleaning thing in every room. I can't put it there because we're still in the check mark phase here. Um, but I usually like a cleaning thing in every room. And later we're going to put in some like heating stuff, but we don't actually have that right now. But we do need some lighting because the students will definitely complain if you don't have lights. So I like to put like two lights in these rooms. Let's just go ahead and say okay for that one. And now I'm going to build some, let's get some furniture and go with the cleaning thing. Cause you'll notice that the rooms are going to get dirty and it's like, how are they getting dirty? What is this? This is weird. Um, but yeah, they will get dirty and this is the most bizarre cooling I've ever seen, but I guess it works. Um, anyway, lights, we need lights for the classroom because the students will complain, but refreshingly and beautifully and wonderfully, they'll say, Hey, can you build us a window? And I'm like, wow, they know about windows. 
Like my high school was built specifically without windows because it um, it, it was thought that uh, it would distract children, you know, from learning. I'm like, wow, you guys are so cruel, man. Uh, let's cancel this. Yeah, go away. Clicked on the wrong thingy. Now th these sizes of restrooms are big and they're gonna last a very long time as in like many students uh, are needed before an upgrade. So, but they're very pretty cheap to build. So it's kind of nice to just build it once and then later build another one, that's fine. Okay, so let's go to all again. And one of the things I wish was different uh, a little bit is decor is only outside decor. So inside decor doesn't have its own category. And it's like, dude, I have to like, you know, look through every one of these little items and figure out what is decor and what is not. It's kind of like, oh dear, you know? All right, anyway, there's, there's that. So let's say, okay. And then go back to our furniture. Oops, I forgot to, I could have done this while we were in the other section, but it doesn't matter. Doors, uh, mm, we're good, I think. Yeah, I think we're good. <clears throat> now then, I was gonna build a tea room. Maybe I'll build it right here. I think that's a good idea. So facility, we need a tea room here. Um. And actually, I'm going to add some more to it, because why not? Make it nice and big. Um, again, this is another one of these things that's um, kind of, it's an important room. It's basically thought of as like the hydration for your, for your uh, students and stuff. Like this is where they get water, like literally hot water to make tea. This is their hydration, and it's instead of like, I think an American game would have something like a water fountain or something. Okay, um, we have this, we have a cup rack here. Let's put a couple of those in. Now, the main thing is the hot water flask, as far as I have seen. Uh, that's what determines the amount of occupants that this thing can serve. Now, I usually put in like benches. Oh, general seating. There we go. <clears throat> this is all we've got, basically. And since these have a nice little space, I'm just going to put them like this. All right. Good. Um, can we... I think there's a place where we can actually look at this. Satisfaction... There is a place that shows the scores for the services maybe it's here but it hasn't gotten there yet i don't know uh now i want to go upstairs and build a research room okay so this might be a good research room looks okay uh size wise <clears throat> we can always expand it this way okay so we need a head researcher's desk Put them by the wall here and get our little board and then we have side researchers now i'm going to go ahead and put in a few side researchers now keep in mind though that each of these side people is going to have to um fit in within the stress score the management score so that's kind of important now let's get them some lights as well <coughs> pardon me Oh, no, 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 oh, here, here, here. All right. All right, so now we have a research room. This is great. So what I do want to do is hire somebody who's decent with research. This one has an 11, so Oliver Curie can be coming to us. Seems good. So you can be the chief researcher. That means we can start research, hooray. So that is right here. I'm not used to seeing the symbol because it's always changing because of the thing that, you know, uh, is demanded next. Now in the tutorial, they're very like, okay, get this, get that, get that. Um, but um, we're going to be a little bit, you know, just deciding what we want. Um, one of the things we definitely need to do is the humanities and science courses. Those are very important, but we have four weeks to do them. So it's okay. They take 2.1 days each, so that's okay. 
Um, staff break room is also really important, but the most important thing is the food tent. Um, that will help us earn money for kids buying food um, when they come to school. And um, so it generates money as well as the kids are hungry. So, yeah. This is so weird. Our parents said we aren't smart enough to study, but we never believed them. I hope Sky Academy can help those from Verdant Valley make our dreams come true. I completely don't even understand that. Like, what kind of parent tells their kids they're too dumb to study? Like, really? What is wrong with you people? Anyway, um, now, the other thing I want to do is I want to extend and expand our area here. Let's do this. Okay, there we go. I'm going down. Um, and then classrooms... I'm kind of thinking of doing, let's see, we have two, four, five, and we were doing seven, it's five, seven, and then we need another seven. Oh yeah, that doesn't work very well, does it? Eh, gotta move it. no, 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 just move, excuse me, go away, thank you. All right. So then we need two, four, six, eight. We can make these classrooms eight. That's okay. Oh, no. Okay. <coughs> Won't mind being moved. <laughs> okay. So we should have things happening. So the kids are all sitting in the back of the classroom. God, that's typical, isn't it? <laughs> now there is a mode here. Oh, here it is. He oh, headmaster mode. That's not what I thought it did. Okay, no, I didn't want that. I wanted the scenery mode. There we go. This is hilarious, though. Oh, wait. Uh, I want to do our... Uh, uh, hello? Why can't I click this? These are the walls. We should be able to see with the walls down. I don't know. Anyway, I want to take a picture of this. these kids here. Um, all the way back uh, in the back of the classroom. <laughs> That's kind of funny. So yeah, in order to build a classroom, the, the floor itself has to be built. So that's what we're building is the structure over here. And here they are taking tea, kind of resting, chatting. Nice. Yeah, nice. Making new friends. Good, good. Excellent. We can also be a little bit more explicit about our... Um, let's see, we can do the environment. We can do some more of these squares here. What kind of, um, let's have these nice kind of, they look less shabby. Why can't I do them here, dude? Also, <laughs> this bewilders me. You cannot go diagonally with WASD. It only takes one input at a time. It does not take both. And I'm kind of like, oh god, come on. Give us WASD, man. Come on. But yeah. Hello, Headmaster. I'm Ms. Sweets, your lifestyle consultant. Oh, you've already built a tea room. Looks like you have some experience with the school lifestyle. Good job. Oh, that's nice. I like that they tuned the tutorial for that. That's quite funny. Um, we're just gonna like, oh, I didn't want to do that. No, 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 no. No, no, no. I don't want this stuff. I'm just gonna like get rid of the rest of this paving because it looks really bad. I mean, I guess I could replace it with grass instead. But yeah, sometimes the grass overgrows the pavement and it doesn't look great for sure. And this is just being a pain in the socks, really. So apparently, this is not like. I've seen other games where it's like, oh yes, featureless green landscape. That's what you get. Okay, thanks. All right, so the courses, yep, we're fine. Okay, so now we get some points. So we're getting 600 money and 20 um, points. So it seems okay so far. <clears throat> now, who did we get here? We got, we didn't really get, I'm gonna try to go for people of like, I guess it doesn't really matter because you can um, improve people's uh, thing with training. 
Actually, Harry Jones is an art teacher. Actually, decent uh, starting art as well. So I'm going to put both of those guys in research. Uh, let's go up. Whoops. Okay, there we go. Uh, hello? Why can I not click on this building? Hello? Huh? I can't click on the room! Why is this not working? Huh. This room isn't working either. Alright, I'm gonna save the game real quick. Temp. And I'm going to... <coughs> Pardon me. Let's just reload the game. All right, let's see if that fixed it. Cause that was, I've, I haven't had that happen before, by the way. Oh, there it goes. So, um, all right, the more people we have in here researching, the more we can, um, so our management value though is only six. That's terrible. Um, yeah, this is bad. Does any of the other people have better management? So it costs five for each person. Here, you come in here. So he's five of six now. He can only manage one guy on his own so far. Um, that can be trained up. Let's see if we can train them. Yeah, we can. Okay, so let's add a new training plan. Who is the researcher? Head researcher guy. I keep forgetting their names. So it's Oliver Curie. Of course it is. Oh my goodness. Why, why would I not recognize that? So management proficiency, Oliver Curie. So he's going to go from 6 to 11. It costs 10000 Wow, that's a lot of money. But it's good. All right, so let's go. So we'll be notified when he's done. Okay, what's going on here? What What's happening? Hello? Oh, it's the exam failure thing. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, the first term is a bit scary. It's like, oh, okay, help. Okay. We already did the toilets. It's fine. There are no problems here with toilets. Okay. Um, all right. Food tents. Uh, right. Mm -hmm. So now, getting a playground is actually kind of nice because it's very short research and it provides a lot of benefit. So we're going to go with a playground next. Uh, okay. So let's set up a food tent. This is, this is very something, very not uh, American. I don't know how it is in other places, but uh, having outdoor food things is quite weird to me. Okay, let's do a, we can do a, mm, eh, six by six is fine. So we're going to have the uh, setup for the, the food tent. And then we're going to put in the tables. Okay, and that's it. No more. Could have put a small fountain in here. That looks nice. Two. Two points for a small fountain. Like, really? Come on. <clears throat> okay, so that's our food tent. Now we need to... Okay, we can sell something. I think we should sell this thing worth 30. That seems good. Now we need a nutritionist, which is just any person, basically. Um... You are actually not, uh, you're okay with some stuff. You're a terrible researcher though. Mm. I'll make you this Bianca person. You go here. There you go. Three new student applications received. Okay. So now let's admit all of them and get them in the classroom. Okay. Click here and select all. Good. Now, all of them are going to want the same subjects until you make friends with a new city. Uh, and then they're going to be like, okay, we want to teach you different subjects. But right now it's okay. Okay. Good, good. All right. 
Another person. Science teacher. We're looking for either art or sports teacher. We have... Actually, we have an art teacher already, but sports teacher is needed. You cannot change a teacher's um, expertise in a subject, nor can you teach them more than one subject. So for every subject you have, you, you need to have a teacher for it. Okay, there we go. First day is over with. And now that seems to be a great time to tell you about our sponsor. All right, new day. Let's go. So we've completed basically one day. So the students have a week, um, and that is the time that they need to basically do a whole year of school, or that's how it's sort of like, you know, presented to us. Uh, and there are three years of school uh, that go into students' education. Okay, a food tent. Yeah. We have it. It's fine. Catch up, girly. <laughs> it's so funny to me that they did the um, the thing for, the, for the, uh, the tea room, but they didn't look into any of the other items that, like, if you've already provided it, it, it looks like something. Okay, uh, we're going to continue researching here now. Let's go ahead and look at... Um, let's see. A staff break room is needed. Yeah, let's get that. We need we need to get that, and I really want that staff training, but we may have to get the other school subjects first. Okay, let's make a playground. I'm going to put it out here. I'm going to go ahead and go with 10 by 10. All right, this is the gate into the playground. And then we have different uh, items we can put in here. We've got a couple of slides as well. We can make a million seesaws. Right, and there's these little tire chairs. Nice. And that provides entertainment for the kids. That's one of the um, satisfaction items. Let's see. Build. Okay, foods. So it isn't showing up yet, but this is what we have here. All right. Nice. Oh, that's right. We have our management module as well. I don't think we've seen anybody have the management thingy yet. So that's something we'll look for in a bit. So this area is going to be for more classrooms, but we don't actually need them yet. So I'm not going to set them up. Well, actually, I could. I mean, I could. All right. Why did it say, oh, research completed staff break room? Okay, so they, they're going to give us more points for that, presumably. All right, actually, let's go ahead and make a couple of more things. So we did seven um, by, we want five. That looks like a five. And I'm going to do just a small door, like right there. And then... Okay. There we go. And then get some lights going on in here. You can also add some decor items, like there's a little picture. Oh, a coffee table where tea sets live. <laughs> That's funny. There's also this lemon tree, which provides a little bit of stuff. Okay, break room. Cool. 
All right, continue research. Now, let's pause. I really want to get this, but we need the school reform before we can get that. Let's get that. Let's get the school reform. <clears throat> let's see. Now then, we're lacking personnel. Yeah, I'm aware, but we are not actually assigning this, so just chill. Sorry, my throat is, like, not happy. <coughs> okay, so that's a room. And we're not going to worry about it. <coughs> Excuse me. There's five. I don't care that there's... <coughs> pardon me. A little wall there. Uh, we could... We can't really delete it because the the global um, thing for uh, or global grid for the um, structure structural elements is two tiles or four tiles <coughs> it's very like factorial ra railroads so all right let's get these things properly placed Good. Can't, no, click the wrong button. There we go. And of course, I forgot the lamps. Okay, nice. Now, if we scroll down, we can see what we got. We got a park bench. So that's nice. <coughs> okay, let's go. Okay, so we have two weeks completed. That's good. Well-ish, I guess. So, three students for admission. We have new teachers. I don't really need sp anything specific right now because uh, the current teachers can teach everybody in this same classroom. So we really don't need additional classrooms right now. We're at 10 of 14. Okay, new person arrived. Talent marketplace. Oh, sports guy. Yeah, coming in. Coming in, dude. Wow, this is taking forever to train this person. Half the week is over now. We must keep a close eye on every classroom's aspiration progress in course schedule and ensure as many students as possible achieve their goals. Okay. <clears throat> nice. Okay. Every now and again I click that. Yeah, I'm aware of a thing. It's okay. <coughs> Let's see how many people are failing now. Ay yeah, yeah, five people. Well, it's no wonder when um, some of the people started late. But I don't know how that works, actually, because, like, you'd expect them to be, like, they've missed two weeks of classes and yet they're, like, very close to that level or maybe... Maybe they were taught in the previous school that they came from. You know, that could be. Now, this is the management value of the class. Um, so we're at 10 and our person here um, who is teaching it, I think it's Mrs. Ms. Lynn. Um, so she's the, the sort of homeroom teacher there. Uh, that matters for her. She has a value of 23 on her management skill uh, or... No, it's it's 18 plus 5, because I think the teacher gets plus 5. Oh, no, no, she doesn't get plus 5 because of that. She gets plus 5 because of that purple management degree symbol thing there. You see, under the, uh, well, just above the, the energy bar there, the stress bar. Um, that gives her plus 5 points in management. So we have a very calm classroom here. Later on, you're going to encounter some really rowdy kids, and you could have a like a classroom value of 60 or, or more. So it's a bit crazy. Okay. Did we get the break room? I forgot if we did already. We probably did and I just didn't even see it. Okay, there's a break room. Yep. We got a staff break room. Um, I think we can put it here. Um, yeah. 
let's just do that then. Put it like right there. And we'll put the door kind of there. But I do like to have the single doors most of the time. I kind of wish those were the default instead of like these big huge doors. Um, so what is that? What the heck is this? It's like just randomly appeared. All right, so this room needs a few things. We need a coffee station here. And then we need some sitting. Oh, okay, so these are services provided. Staff break plus eight plus four. So definitely want to have plenty of coffee stations. But they are quite expensive, 1500 each. So let's put in, we need these. And then we'll put in one tiny sofa because it's needed. Anything with a star is absolutely required. Wait, maybe not. Maybe it's just this counts as a sofa. Anyway, uh, so this thing doesn't provide anything but beauty to the environment, but it's okay. We might as well. There's no reason not to. Um, let me put in some windows here. There we go. Now, I forgot if energy is a thing, like electricity. <clears throat> I need to look. Like, if a room has no uh, lamps, does that... Uh, uh, does that save us on energy? Let's see. There's facility maintenance costs. Huh. See, classroom, classroom, staff break room 21. Oh my god. You know what we can do is probably let's delete these. Um, let's see, does it give us money back? 37. Yeah, it does. We'll just add more coffee makers when we need them because I think that that's making our, our costs go up. I am actually looking for the management symbol here, um, but I'm not seeing it so far. Okay, let's keep on going. Oh, I forgot to put cleaning things in these rooms. Now, in general, you don't have to put cleaning things in every room. You can see how the cleaning thing has an AOE kind of thing. But, um, you know, if you put it outside the room, it doesn't really go very far so I just kind of like to add it for each room in general and it can kind of cover the hallways as well now there are other things there's a um, firefighting equipment is kind of important and I kind of do that the opposite way where I'll put it um, like outside in various places because what I have seen is that they will actually go and retrieve fire equipment like I had one fire extinguisher in one one classroom and I had a fire outside and so they they ran and got it and brought it back so they will go and do like more extraordinary things like that so that's nice now one thing I would like to do here is um, get this going so this is one okay I want to move this again this song that they that's playing it drives me crazy because it starts off very much like you'll never walk alone the song from carousel and then it goes in a different direction. It's like, what? It's like, gets my brain in a twist. All right, here we go. So, so far, things are going pretty well. Um, yep, pretty happy with things right now. Don't know how we're going to do with these students. This is not great. Um, so, let's let's see what, what they have. Okay. These people, they are ending mostly on even. I was going to say if they had too much science or whatever, we could adjust the classes, but it looks like they're kind of on track right now. So that's what we got. So courses. But you notice, sciences, uh, this one got changed to to goodness. Did we, did we research that yet? No, we didn't. Okay, I thought we got the thing. Never mind. Okay. 
I don't know why that changed, but maybe... No, I don't know. Yeah, cleaning supplies. That's good. It's so funny that there's still these, like, tutorial things, even though I told it to, to turn off. But that's okay. It's fine. Okay. Two more days. And unfortunately, we haven't seen anybody with the management symbol. I really wanted one because... Um, only a person with a management symbol can work in management. Uh, and that's what this area is for up here. Uh, this area is to build um, management rooms, offices. And I'm going to just do a very tiny thing here. I'm going to do three by three rooms. I think that's the smallest that you can have with these. And I'm just going to, like, connect them to each other, honestly. I know that's going to seem really strange, but it it works. Oh, no, no, no. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to try the, a thing where I don't put... Like, I'll have one management office with a window and one with lights. And see if the, the cost is different. There you go. And the phone. There you go. Okay, nice. Um, and I will, okay, we don't have anybody that qualifies except for our best teacher, so we're not going to do that. Wait, maybe she can do both. She might be able to do both, actually. Okay, we'll be just uh, identical here. And put in a door as well over here, just to make it a very fair test. And let's see how much, let's see, lighting we need 10. I'm not going to put 10 because, um, we don't really have it. I'm not going to put an incandescent in there as well. That seems silly. Oh, it's only plus two. Wow. Okay. Really? That's so weird. All right. Let's see. We can maybe put in... Oh! Oliver Curie is also a qualified... Er. Okay. We'll put in Ms. Lynn. I think she can still do the um, stuff. But anyway, we can do increase the teaching efficiency of accountable classes by 15%. That is awesome. That might get our students over that hump. That would be great. So as you see, we have a, oh gosh, we, we need a, a new, um, I think it's homeroom teacher here. So, um, who is doing the, oh, it's me doing that. Uh -huh. So we need to get a, just a different homeroom teacher. Uh, these are very well-behaved students, so it doesn't have to be a person that has great management skill or anything. Uh, Ted is good. We'll have Frank do these. Now, uh, Frank, why is... Huh? Oh, no, there is a uh, facility management proficiency. I don't see that anywhere. I don't know. Whatever. Um, anyway, maybe this will help us. I don't know. Now, if we got Oliver up here, um, let's go up and check out this area here. So right now we have, um, Oliver... Isn't Oliver being trained? Yeah, forever. Yes, I know. Um, Oliver could also get into here as well, but then and then Joey could be here by themselves, perhaps. Uh, oh, okay. Let's go here. Let's get Oliver here. Okay, and that's fine choose again so that's plus another 15 percent i hope it stacks i think it does um and this one we can have joey 
be the have a management value of three. Oh my god. So that's not ideal. But can I can I put in Oliver back here? Does that fire him from here? Yeah. Okay, so this is full time, this stuff. So yeah, let's try to get that those fifteen and fifteen percent. I don't know if it stacks or if it's if it's another weird value or something, I have no idea how that works, but I hope it works. Um, but anyway, the management thing is so that basically my office is overloaded right now. So I need to move some of these facilities underneath somebody else. So we'll go ahead and add like some basic stuff here. Um, stuff that's not going to change much. Uh, those are the easiest to keep track of. So we have 30 of 34, and that frees up the headmaster's office for other stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and add these here. Usually the most variable things are the classes because you have more students entering or misbehaving students happening, that kind of thing. All right. I also find the chiming very weird. Sounds like a church, not like a school. <laughs> Okay, so we can also go down now and look at look at the management offices. Okay, so the management offices are exactly the same. So we don't have to worry about electricity costs of lights or something like that. Okay, new student applications will only be sent in the first three days. You can use the last two days to focus on teaching. Okay, where are we on the schedule now? Oh god, it's still not enough. No! Why? Oh, we need algebra. We need algebra. Please help us with algebra. Help. I think we can... Actually, maybe we can switch this to be this. <gasps> oh no! Wait, why does it say 332.4 days? That's so strange. That's a bug. That's got to be a bug. Oh my god. Anyway, so things are happening. Stuff is going on. No kids on the playground, but yet they're outside here? That's a bit confusing. And the pieces of this chiming are now like, that's like old style doorbells. <laughs> oh, so funny. Also, another cool thing you can do is move them around. I love this. This is so useful and helpful. Like, in case you didn't quite get something right or whatever. Yeah, you can also delete parts of uh, the thing with the... Um, like, if you want to delete these chunks, you can go into negative mode. Which sometimes works and sometimes doesn't work. It's not working right now. Um, it seems to be really weird the way it works. I had to, like, fiddle between this and another um, style of walls, and I just, I don't even know how I got it to work. But you can get it to work. I have done it. Um, so, yeah. All right, the weekly exam is today. Let's check it out. Let's hope for our students do well. I don't think, yeah, too little, too late. Sad times. Very sad times. Maybe I should have focused on getting the science teacher to be... Well, that's me, actually. Uh, to have better teaching proficiency in the subject. That that was probably better. But since our person still hasn't finished training, what is going on here? Um, but I wonder if this is, like, in-game time. I thought this was, like, a day of, you know, game time. Uh, but it's not. It's, like, real-world time. I'm running at a triple speed. That's why it's going faster, but... Yeah, that's a lot. Later on, we can get um, a thing. Wait, not here, not here. Um, this staff training is amazing. Absolutely amazing. So that, why is this going at weird numbers? I don't get this at all. <clears throat> nice. Tiny bit of money. All right, students, do well. We want you to do well. New job applications. Nice. Okay, so... Ooh, what is this? 
Oh, <gasps> research certificate. Arr, that's sexy. You know what? I'll recruit you. You can be... Uh, actually, I'm not going to offer him a position yet. Wait, maybe I should. Hold on. Let's see. Um, the... I really wish that this defaulted not to the environment score. Who even needs this? More like management. I This is the only tab I look at usually, and I wish it defaulted to that instead. All right, let's see if we can change this to new new person. Uh, no, they have even worse score. Great. Um, I think I can add, add Deborah here. <clears throat> So just because it goes over doesn't mean it won't function, but what it does mean is that the person gets stressed out, right? So Joey is going to get more stressed. Um, but luckily, they're earning points on this um, management certificate, so that's happening even though we're not like actively training them. They do earn points in whatever they're doing so if they're teaching they get better at teaching that kind of thing it's really nice the way your uh, teachers and stuff level up kind of on, on their own i also don't know why these numbers have gone down um whereas you know the art and the sports have started at 100 and they're staying at 100 but the rest of them have gone down actually okay so let's continue research on oh no no this one this one Thank you. <clears throat> there we go. It did seem to keep um, some of the uh, progress because now it's 1.5 days. I think it was 3 point something when we first started it. So that's good. Let's check on our happiness here. The facilities. Okay. Food is disgusting. Somebody doesn't like it. One person out of 10. Or no. Uh, not 10. 13. Okay. Here we go. Here's the exam. Let's go. See what happens. Okay. Okay. Detail. All right. So we had quite a few people fail. This is kind of surprising to me. Um, but I think what happened is the, the reason is we didn't, um, train the teachers better. Instead, I was training that one person in management because when in my test game, the first uh, year, I only failed two people. So that's okay. It's not great. Um, oh yeah, average. I got an A on my test game, so that wasn't ideal. Anyway, it's not too bad. Okay. Your reputation is improving. Now this is a surprise because I think in my test game, I got an increase of 66 and we're at 64 here, so apparently C versus A doesn't actually matter. Uh, I'm finding that a tiny bit amusing. Um, okay, pay greater attention to the schedule. That's where you'll recognize your teaching uh, shortfalls. Great. Okay, but right now, we are going to say thank you so very much to all of my wonderful patrons and supporters. You guys are great. Um, but it is time for us to go. So we're going to pause. Actually, oh, I thought I paused it and I didn't. Oh, look at this. This is fun looking. Okay. Anyway. Um, uh, so anyway, thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other. And I'll see you next time.